Alrighty, alrighty. So, hey, Tony here, Rain Adventures 2.0. What are we doing? Well, uh, today is another week and another one of our shakedowns. So, uh, let me pull over here. All right, so this is another shakedown car uh, video, travel video, getting ready and preparing for our on the road travel vlog. So, in this scenario, it's because we're going to be going all the way to the west coast <laughs> at least i think so uh but we're going to come across public land somewhere that we can park the car and we're not going to sleep in the car but we're going to park the car maybe get out and set up our hammock or set up our hammock tent uh so that's what we're going to do today we're going to find a spot we're going to drive out this uh out this way here and i'll take you along but Let's go find a spot. All right, here we go. All righty, all righty. Yes, <laughs> let's go. All right, so we're driving out these power lines, and I've seen several places uh, to pull off and set up camp, but I kind of want to get down to this one area that I did see on Google Earth. So that's some of the stuff that we're going to be doing is uh, looking at for locations once we get to an area. Uh, we'll search it a little bit with uh, with our uh, Google Earth and see what's in the area. But it looks like there's a reservoir out this way um, and we're going to try to get over to that. Alright, so we got a steep downhill to go down right now. All right, oh man, this is, uh, oh, this is steep. <laughs> Let me show it to you. All right, so I pulled over just to check Google Earth again. Uh, there is the reservoir. We got to continue to go out, but I pulled over here just to look down over the side because this is a bank and it looked like this used to be a reservoir but they have a tank right here you can see over my shoulder uh, so that's a water tank um, it used to be a reservoir right there I think this would be number two because there was one that way then this I think would have been number two at one point uh, and then number three is that way and we're going to try to get out to number three all right <laughs> let me get going <laughs> all right For one thing, it's definitely windy out here, but look at that little point out there. Man, if it wasn't so windy, we'd try to set up over there. But uh, look at this, this is nice. So I know uh, February is uh, Stealth Camping Alliance's uh, water challenge and I wasn't planning on it, but hey, <laughs> let's do a water challenge for the uh, Stealth Camping Alliance. All right, so I've got to figure out a place to get set up then we can explore a little bit uh, later uh, but right now it's about getting camp set up all right so you can see i'm parked right there <laughs> and uh, that's our spot but i'm thinking to get out of this wind and that maybe we can go back that way in amongst those pines back there and uh, find a place to set up yeah that's what we're gonna do So I know this is a really cool spot. 
uh, right here overlooking the water, but it's just too windy for what I want to do. So we're going to go back there, like I said. So let's, let's see if we can get turned around here. <laughs> I think that's good. All right. Hey, I think we found the perfect spot. Yeah, because I can uh, I can tie off the, uh, we're gonna set up the uh, hammock tent. All right, but we're not sleeping in a hammock tonight. Okay, if you watched Mail Monday, you know we got a, uh, a cot, a one tigress cot. So we're gonna set the cot up inside the tent uh, and use it that way. I was thinking I might uh, not use some trees, but since we got trees and a nice little clearing right here, I think we're gonna go ahead and use these trees. All right, so let's get started. All right, hey, before we get started, I thought I would show you this current setup. Uh, so uh, it's, get, it's coming together really, really good. Um, all right, so right now, the, this stuff, like the um, uh, the cot, the, um, the hammock uh, tent, and some of this stuff's going to go in the car carrier once we get the car carrier. But you can see the, uh, the bed pad right there. That's what I'm going to be sleeping on. Right underneath of it, right there, is a black fold-out table. Uh, I'm kind of show you a little bit here. Uh, so, pull this to the side so you can see we got our table and so this is our trekking poles and our our um, green elephant um, posts all right here so that all stores right next to the refrigerator you can see I keep our wraps right up there but this is the refrigerator uh, we got our alpha ESS uh, there we've got the um, uh, weather tech uh, window shades I am not going to have to deploy those because we're you know, that's not, we're not sleeping in the car tonight. Uh, so, yeah, so that's in the back. Now, right here is the Alpha ESS. This is 200 watts of solar panels. Now, my idea right now is I'm keeping the axe right here. Uh, also, the legume uh, saw, my jacket, my puffy is right up there. Now, if we were sleeping in the car, uh, we would be right there in that seat back seat and that front seat would go all the way forward you can see i've got that tripod mount uh that from the studio that's the little arm there's one on the dash uh but right here let's get to the uh, side of the car here and i'll show you that all right okay so on this side <laughs> I'm keeping a propane tank right here. I do have my Sawyer squeeze um, so that we can filter water if we need water. We got water right here with the reservoir and we can filter that. And this is gonna be the bottle we'll filter into. That's just an empty one. I got straps here. Now this backpack is all set up with um, my hammock, my under quilt, stuff like that. So that one is all ready to go. You can see uh, if we were car camping, I've got the electric right here for the pot. Everything that I showed you in the studio the other day, uh, this is uh, hanging off the back of the seat. We're not totally set up yet, uh, but off the back of that seat, there's something going to go on there that I was just notified that uh, it's it's a waiting on me. Uh, but you can see uh, the bed pad right here and also uh, the mat right underneath of it. Uh, so that's generally where we'll sleep now. I may or may not put that on the quilt tonight, so we're not sure yet. Uh, but you can see the refrigerator, but that's plenty of room right there. And a lot of this stuff will go on the car, car carrier once we get that put on. Once I get down and meet Lou, uh, that car carrier, cargo carrier from Dennis. Uh, so the passenger seat, let me show you that. All right, so you can see I've got the little buddy right there. We're going to utilize that tonight. Now, this backpack here, that's got like a laptop. That's all my electronics and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there, but it certainly is handy. Uh, but yeah, so you can see that, that mount I've got on that board right there. That's our, so we can film inside the car at night when we're doing that. And just makes it a lot easier. All right, so, but 
So yeah, uh, once that thing is set up on the cargo top, that'll go right up there. All right. So on this side, like I said, I just, let me get around here. So, so if we were car camping, you can see these two buttons right here. Uh, that's where, this is driving mode. And then this one I've got set. I just push it at night. It moves the seat all the way forward. That's sleeping mode. <laughs> and you can see it really opens up this back seat. Yep. And then we just climb right in here. Now you can see right down there, I've got that plugged in. I wanted electric up here that I didn't have to bend around the seat. So that is a uh, little cord uh, with, uh, yeah, USBs and plugs that we can do that. Oh, right over there is a five gallon water jug. Uh, so uh, we don't have it yet, but I just wanted to see if it fit. But there's a water dispensing uh, spout that goes on there that's USB and rechargeable. And then right above is our cargo net. So we're getting all set up. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty, pretty cool. Oh man. So that's just an extra backpack that I've got other stuff in. Um, so that would go up in the cargo net. And also my 55 uh, liter um, will go up in the cargo thing for when we do our different adventures as we're traveling. But that's the back of the car. It's kind of late to hook up the solar panels, but hmm. I wonder if I should do that. I was thinking of hooking up the solar panels, but really there's only an hour and a half left of sunlight. So this is not the prime time but we will do that eventually so yeah let's get <laughs> let's get our um hammock tent set up and get get all of this gear out of here all right here we go So we got our, our cot, we got to get that set up next, but I am going to roll these uh, sides up and get them uh, put to the side here. So we got a little bit of airflow going through here. It's really nice out right now. Uh, we're having some unseasonably uh, warmer weather right now. And that's why I decided not to bring the wood stove because once we get out west, we may not need the wood stove at certain times. Uh, so. Get our door open. One Tigris uh, cot that, as you saw, Mail Monday, uh, I received this from uh, Johnny and Mary. And uh, I had it put together already once. Uh, so I will show you how it goes together. If you've never seen it, it is really slick and it is gonna be comfy. <laughs> All right, so first off, we've got these uh, supports. So those all get opened up. And nice thing is they've got little Velcro straps here. You can see these Velcro straps that just hold them in place and they are shot corded, corded. And we just peel it apart. And then they just go in like that. And then the other one on the other side. Well, it's actually the other way. All right. So that's what they're going to look like. You can see there. So we've got four of those. And then this goes on the one side. And then this side has got a little quick release right here. And that's when you get it in, you push this down and snap it into place and that's what gives it tension. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other four all ready to go and then we'll pull out the, uh, the actual cot and then I'll show you how it goes together.
All right, so in here are the uh, legs. There's 16 legs. Now, you don't have to use the legs if you did not want to. You can actually sit this right down on the ground this way and only be about six inches off the ground. But I want to get it up higher. Um, so let me get the uh, can canvas out. <laughs> so you got your side poles. Then on the ends, there's this little pull thing right here. You just kind of give that a pull and tuck that in, and it's all set already. So I'll probably sleep with my head down this end, down here. But look at this, this can go this way. Look, go crossways, I can go that side, I can go right down the center. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty nice. Wow. Now if we had our wood stove, that goes right here. So I'd probably be on that side. Uh, but yeah, nice. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna lay with my head this way. So I will turn this, get it over here. All right. And that's actually a little uphill. <laughs> All right, so this we can store our bag just right underneath. And then I'll go get the rest of my stuff. Ah, it looks nice. <laughs> Don't want to forget our Thermarest down top pillow. We've got our uh, our little seat we're gonna sit on. We've got our top quilt in here, and then we got our Trekology table. So I'm just gonna keep grabbing stuff and bringing it in here. Oh, look at that sunset. <laughs> Looking good. So the idea is to use the little buddy tonight and uh, just for a little bit of heat, but I'm going to do a little hack as well, and I'll show you that. Uh, but uh, we're going to cook some cheeseburgers, <laughs> believe it or not. All right. So let me get my pillow blown up. Yeah, one nice thing is this, uh, this has these little pockets right here. So we can put some stuff in there. Like I'll put this case for the pillow in there. But yeah. yeah. I just gotta remember where I put it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a sit. Oh man, that's gonna be nice to sleep on. All right, so let me get this blown up. Alrighty, I got everything all set up, the tent set up. I think while the sun's setting, I better go over to that water reservoir and check that out. Let's go do that. Oh, look, I got a light <laughs> right there for later on. And one at the other peak as well. That's going to light us up in here. And I've got something we're going to cook for dinner. And like I said, we're going to do it on the little buddy. All right, let's go. Look at that sunset. That is awesome. Let's get down there. couple motorcycles show up this is a popular spot they must do a lot of motocrossing through here but I want to get out to this point so nice look at that sunset oh it had been cool to 
set up down here. But look at this conglomerate rock. This nice little point comes out here. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, like I said, there's some motorcycles that showed up. This must be a popular spot for motocross, stuff like that. But, man, I'm going to turn your camera around. But there's a nice little spot right out here where we could have had a fire. I don't know. It's I think it's too windy. Uh, frustrating. <laughs> All right, let me turn you around. Yeah, this is amazing. Yes, yeah, a lot of conglomerate rock right here so you can see all the quartz in it that's can that's popular around our area so but look at this nice let's walk right down to the water ah uh, cool yeah we can even sit right there too yeah this is a beautiful spot look at that sun just went down past the trees but we're starting to get all the colors in the sky that is beautiful tell you what if those power lines weren't there that would be amazing got one windmill over there through the trees all right yeah beautiful yeah, so right over there is that fire pit. Oh man, if it was if it wasn't so windy, I'd probably have one, but let's get back to camp and cook dinner. It's going to be dark soon and I don't want to scale those rocks in the dark cuz I don't got my headlamp with me, but so this is our water for our water challenge. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm not I wasn't really planning on doing that, but hey, we'll do it anyhow. All right. So yeah. Beautiful spot, beautiful, beautiful spot. So I'm tucked in the woods back that way. So yeah, not too far away from the water. But this is beautiful. Man, this is definitely gonna be a spot I come back to. Yeah, and and I have a feeling that, that our trip out west, this is not gonna, this is not going to uh, be anything comparable. I mean, it's nice. But I have a feeling we're going to see a whole lot more nicer stuff. But it just goes to show you there's nice places everywhere. So get out and get get your random adventure going. All right. All right. Let's get back to camp. One more look. That's a big puddle right there. But look at the reflections. So this one's nice and smooth because it's down in a little dip. So the wind's not hitting it like glass all right so i got our dinner let me get this other light turned on get it plugged in so like i said it's it's windy you'll see the tent blowing around get some more oh, the lights on there we go all right perfect this is home for tonight <laughs> all right so let me get stuff cleaned up here. And then, like I said, we're going to do our cooking on the Little Buddy uh, heater and uh, get my stool set up. I'm not sure if I'm going to set the stool up right now or not. Um, but I'll get my pan out, get everything situated. All right, I'll bring you back in a second. All righty. <laughs> so a lot of you already know uh, about this hack. But you, what you do is you just take your, your grate off right here. Uh, that's on the front of the little buddies and then you turn it around just make sure the handles all the way up like it is there And this just slides right underneath there and that becomes a cooking surface now I wouldn't cook right on that um, That's why I've got my pot here. We're gonna cook right in this, but we're gonna use the heat from the little buddy um, To actually cook our dinner and what are we having? Oh, I will show you <laughs> all right so what are we having? Well, I got some cheeseburgers, all right? So we're going to do that. I've got cheese. I've got cheeseburgers. But we're going to do something a little different. Rather than buns, we're going to go with our traditional uh, <laughs> soft taco shells. So we're going to put them in there. Uh, so we got that. We got our cheese. So this is our Cooper Sharp cheese. So we'll put that in there. And then we've got 
little mustard. We got yellow mustard, or I got this mustard. I think we're going to go with this one. Look at this. This is Duke's, and it's bold and creamy mayonnaise. So it's bacon and tomato. <laughs> that sounds like that'll be good. So we're going to put that on it. All right. And then uh, I do have some ketchup if we want it, but not sure. Oh, and look at this. I got these uh real bacon look at that so that's not for dinner that's actually for tomorrow morning and i'll show you that later all right so let's get this thing fired up all right there we go so we're gonna set this right on there. Now, because I have the refrigerator in the car, I'm only gonna cook one of these, I believe. Yeah, I think just one. Ah, uh, uh, we'll see. You know what, I am gonna do two of these and I'm gonna get it up on the high. Yeah, I'm going to cook both of them. But uh, if I didn't want to eat both, we've got the refrigerator in the car, so we can always put them in there and save it for another time. All right, so I'll get a trash bag started as well. All right. Oh, that's throwing off some nice heat. <laughs> yeah. Starting to sizzle. <laughs> oh, yeah, looking good. <laughs> so, like I said, in this scenario, this is like if we pulled up on some uh, BLM land, Bureau of Land Management or public land, as we're heading out west, um, this is the scenario. We may not be able to do the wood stove. So I wanted to do this, uh, see if I could sleep in here how well the little buddy will do in here. And I'll tell you what, I've got the door open right now and it is warm in here. Now I do have this top quilt, but I do have a, uh, uh, a sleeping bag in the car, but I've only ever used this top quilt, even for hammock, uh, hammock hanging. Um, I, I, I may get the mat, it depends. Uh, if I start getting too much cold coming up from underneath, um, I might get the mat. Uh, that Thermarest mat that uh, Alpine Warrior had given us. Um, I might get that and throw that on here. Uh, I might get that because I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but so far, so good. <laughs> yeah. But I would say I, we're roughly three weeks away. I'm not three weeks. Um, two weeks away from starting our travel vlog but first things first i've got to get down there to uh see lou to pick up the cargo carrier and that's where we're going to put a lot of the stuff on the roof of the car up in the cargo carrier that'll free up areas inside but really i don't know of too much stuff that'll go up there i mean the cot will go up there stuff like that definitely um but yeah, we're getting close. And and I'm really happy with the way that the car is set up. Oh, now, just something about these uh, cheeseburgers. They're not like 80-20. <laughs> Believe it or not, they're 93-7. So not much fat in here at all. Um, which is good because I can let it cool down in the pan, harden up, and then I'll scrape it out into a baggie. Um, that way we don't have that grease laying around yeah ah, nice so yeah this is cooking good so i will let it keep doing its thing and yeah awesome <laughs> so oh um so with the travel vlog so on thursdays i'll probably still show a camping video the rest of the time it'll be driving maybe come into a town, we'll do day hikes or uh, uh, 
points of interest along the way. I don't know how it's going to go. We're going to see how it goes uh, and how. <laughs> but I really do hope you uh, you come along and you hit um, hit that notification bell because I'll tell you what. I don't know how many videos a week I'll be coming out with, uh, but you don't want to miss them. <laughs> if I do come out with them, uh, you'll be like, oh, where did he, did he do a video this week? <laughs> well, then one way to know is hit that notification bell. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button too. If you're watching these and you're not yet subscribed, hey, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you a part of the 2.0 family and uh, flip Alrighty. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you want to, if you want to, it really, really helps me out. All right. Yum. These are smelling great. Oh, they're getting done. Yes, they are. Get a flip that one. Or a flip. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they are getting done. Yeah, I think I'll turn this down the one notch down to low. I don't think we need it on high. And then I'm going to cut this in half so it goes into the uh, wrap a little easier. Oh, yeah, that's that's medium right there. So I'm going to put, I'm not going to do anything with that other one right there. But let's get some cheese on there. I don't think I'm going to eat that one tonight. Uh, it depends on how hungry I get. But so far, I think we're good. You know what? That would be good with eggs on, in the morning. But I have something else planned for that. But, yeah. All right. Let me get the wraps. I think that's plenty. All right, so let's go ahead and get our first one out of here. I got little tongs that I could use, but they're in the car, which is going to be okay because we're not too far away from the car. So I'll just give that a quick wrap. <laughs> All right, so that's one. Put that on top of here. So just, I just fold in the sides, give it a quick roll. Oh, you saw me do the other one. All right. So that's number two. So, all right. So this is our cheeseburgers made on the Little Buddy. And we've got the bacon tomato um, Duke's mayonnaise. All right. I do have mustard. I don't know if I'm going to do mustard. Nah, I think I'm just going to have it like this. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Very good. And you can see, cheeseburger's done, done right. That cooked that up really, really good. Very good. Mmm. <laughs> I'm liking it. <laughs> So we know that works. That's good. That is good. So we can always cook on that. Perfect. This is working out unbelievable. Okay, I hear an uh, ATV just pulled up. see the headlamp from it just on the other side of the the little water reservoir it's just kind of sitting there mm, I'm kind of lit up over here it's kind of late turn the lights out now <clears throat> that shouldn't be a problem though Ah, 
Uh, look at that star up there. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, let me get a couple night <laughs> night shots of this. <clears throat> okay, they just turned their headlight off. Oh, I can hear some geese going overhead. They might circle around and try to land in the lake or the water reservoir. Yeah, them geese are right overhead. All right, so I got some night pictures here. I'll show them to you here. Yeah, so I did some of the sky, some of the the one tigress hammock tent in night with the stars above. So some pictures of the just the stars over the water reservoir and stuff so pretty cool they looked really really good so uh, get back into our our tent here and uh, get ready to close up shop but i gotta put this cheeseburger away man that's a lot of food <laughs> so if you watched last thursday when i had that refrigerator that other refrigerator in the car the one that has the freezer um, you know, I ate that ice cream. Well, I saved the container. I put my headlamp and those LED lights in here, but I'm going to use it as a storage container for that cheeseburger. So let me get that put in here and then we'll stick it right in our, right in the refrigerator. And then we've got that for another meal and it's already cooked, which is perfect. All right. So let's get that back over to the car. I'll get this stuff cleaned up, get it back in the refrigerator, and then, yeah, I mean, that hit the spot. That was awesome. So this is working out really, really good. Now, as far as the little buddy, I'll probably use that a little bit later uh, just to take the chill off. But we'll close the doors and stuff once we're ready to, to hunker down for the night. And, uh, yeah, I've got this uh, GCI Outdoors um chair i didn't didn't break this out because there was that nice rock down there to sit on by the water but yeah nice all right so let me get this stuff put away all right well guess what time it is it's time for jiffy pop let's see if we can pop some popcorn on our uh, little buddy let's have a snack that cheeseburger's starting to wear off. <laughs> but uh, let's get it fired up. All right. So we're just, says to open here. You want to take this cardboard off. And it looks like all the instructions are on the inside. All right. So it looks like uh, we want to place it on top of there. Once it starts to sizzle, then we want to shake it and then let it pop. All right. <laughs> let's get her on there. Let's let it sit and get warmed up first. All right, so that is all popped. <laughs> that is so cool. That is, oh, let's get this cut in. I'm just going to do a slice down through here. Uh, and then peel it back. Oh, man. Look at that. We got popcorn. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. All right. <laughs> Oh, man. Jiffy Pop Popcorn. Oh, look at that. We got popcorn. <laughs> this is crazy. Mmm. Boy, that is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> Jiffy Pop Popcorn. <laughs> so, so, now we know we can make popcorn. <laughs> so... 
Man, oh day, that's awesome. <laughs> so I think I am gonna grab that Thermarest uh, pad uh, that Alpine Warrior had given us. Uh, and I think I'm gonna put that down on the cot, sleep on that. One of the nice things, uh, most of y'all probably don't know, but I do, uh, I do wear this leg brace right here. Um, from the stroke, uh, you know, I still got that drop foot. It, it certainly helps when I'm walking. But one of the nice things with this cot is I can actually sit here. I can get that off and on fairly easily. Um, so I think that's going to be nice. I can get my shoes off tonight, which will be the first time that I've camped since the stroke uh, that I've slept without my shoes on. Yeah. So I'm going to grab that out of the car. And then I'm going to finish this popcorn, and then I'll talk to you right before we go to bed. All right, and <laughs> talk to you soon. Mmm. Yum. Jiffy Pop. So we're all closed up. I've got the pad already on the bed right here. So that's that Thermarest pad. I think that's going to work out perfect. Like I said, I think we're good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one light off right here. Hopefully, I'll still got enough light with that other one on. Yeah, plenty of light. <laughs> all right. Because uh, I can reach up there and turn that off as well. But, all right. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get my shoes off for the first time <laughs> so this is gonna be something else like I said I haven't been able to to wear um, my sh or take my shoes off well I could but it's just such a hassle with this leg brace uh, I'll show it to you here in a second oh! I put my foot on there but this is uh the foot brace that I wear, and that um, actually holds my foot from dropping forward and then tripping me or dragging it through. Um, so, let me see, I, I can get it back in there in the morning. So, I'll let that one there. All right. Get this other one off. Oh, you know what? I've got that floor sheet that Dennis had given me. Where is that? I don't have it with me. But um, future, we'll spread that out here so I can stand on it and stuff. Uh, one nice thing is that this spot, it's very grassy. Uh, so I'll be able to step right on that. I am i don't know if I'm going to run the little buddy. I might run it a little bit. Um, we'll just see how it feels when I'm underneath this. Oh, that Therma Rest, I'm sitting on it right now without the top cover and I can feel it generating heat back up to me. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, all right. Uh, uh. Get my other leg in here. All right. Uh. Give it a feel. Oh my. Oh, that's feeling good. All right. So, nice thing. Got my table right here. Got my knife. And I can reach the light so we can actually dim this down pretty low. <laughs> or we can just dim it up. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. I'm going to. Lights out. Oh man, this is toasty. All right. Well, Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Unless something happens, I'll touch base with you. All right. Catch you later. Lights out. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh, man. Well, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. I woke up and I just put the little buddy on for a couple minutes. But I do have that light at that end of the uh, 
hammock tent on low and it's it's hardly using any battery that's the nice thing about these leds but yeah it's just taking the chill off ah nice i'm going back to bed already already well good morning <laughs> oh so i ended up getting uh, my puffy jacket and i ended up getting the um the sleeping bag because it it did get chilly <sighs> uh, but it's morning uh, so I'm going to fire up the little buddy uh, probably heat it up a little bit and then uh, we'll get up and uh, get moving around alright see you in a bit yeah. it's feeling good <laughs> alright Yep, so I'm going to get up, I'm going to get things tore down, and then I'll bring you back on in a little bit. Alright, so we got camp all broke down, that didn't take long at all. Uh, I've got the table set up, I'm going to go ahead and cook breakfast. I'll bring you back in a little bit, but I got to get this uh, fuel tank off because we're going to use the old cracking dated <laughs> burner. Uh, we're going to do our eggs. I got to heat up water for coffee and for oatmeal. I'll bring you back on in a bit. All right, you can see several things going here. I already got the coffee uh, done. Uh, now I'm going to make our eggs i've got oatmeal the water's heating up for the oatmeal that'll be done soon uh so we got these little uh shake up uh, bacon bits uh or bacon uh real bacon so i'm going to throw the, some of that in the pan and then we are going to get our eggs going so i just sprinkle those in ah that's good nice thing about these these will last for quite a while so got that hot water's almost done for our oatmeal, I'm gonna put our eggs. So I've got these uh, egg beaters. Um, so as far as the egg beaters go, I'm bringing these along um, because I've got the refrigerator. Um, I mean, sometimes I'll do regular eggs. So we're just gonna scramble these up. Yeah. let that do its thing so we've got three burners going here I've already turned this one off uh, let's see if it's cooled down enough mmm yes it is get our spatula give these eggs a stir Like I said, we're just scrambling, so we ain't got to worry about breaking yolks. They're already broken. So this water's heated up pretty good. So I am going to have oatmeal. And in the oatmeal, I've got some fresh blueberries and some walnuts in there. So I'm going to add this to it and then pour the hot water in here and uh, get it cooking. You can smell that maple brown sugar oatmeal there. So I'm going to break up one piece of Cooper Sharp and stick that in here. Get those uh, cheesy scrambled eggs. <laughs> yeah, with uh, bacon bits. Or real bacon pieces, they call it. <laughs> it's not bits. I'm probably not going to throw this on a tortilla um, just because I ate a couple tortillas last night and uh, no need to eat tortillas every day. <laughs> but oh, that's so good. I'll just eat that right out of the pan here. All right. So let me take a look at my eggs. 
Look at that. So that cheese is just melting in there. Loving it. Very, very good. Scrambled eggs. <laughs> yeah, so this is the oatmeal. I made it a little runny, <laughs> so we'll be drinking some liquid. That's okay, because it's a little chilly, uh, so that will be good. It'll be like soup. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. Uh, then we got our eggs, so we're going to start eating those. All right, bon appetit. That is good. <laughs> All right. So I want to say, hey, thanks a lot for coming along. You know, it is a little overcast. So in our scenario, um, if we're on our road trip, I would be eating breakfast. Then we would be getting on the road and going to our next destination. And where is that destination? We will not know until we get there. <laughs> right? Uh, so like I said, about a week and a half uh, from now, maybe two weeks, uh, we'll be hitting the road. Uh, but for now, we're going to enjoy this breakfast. Oh, boy, this is good with the blueberries. <laughs> mm. Blueberries and the walnuts. We got our cheesy eggs and bacon. <laughs> Mm. Mm. I don't know if it gets any better than this. <laughs> so you can see I got the black table set up. When I'm done, the legs uh, collapse. It gets slid right back underneath the uh, bed. And then we're all set. Now, we're not going to... Um, camp like we did every night because a lot of times we'll be in areas where um, we can't all right so that's why we're doing the scenarios we did the car camp last week last Thursday and if you haven't seen those go back a couple of videos and start watching our adventures uh, doing our getting ready or our shakedowns uh, this is shakedown number four <laughs> so um, all right well, I got to hit the road, all right? So, hey, I want to say, uh, check out this Sunday as Sunday Night Live. Uh, we'd love to have you. Hey, um, uh, if, I don't know if you're watching these in succession, but if you are, I've got a special guest coming on this Sunday, so check it out, all right? I don't want to spoil and say who it is, but you're going to like it, all right? All right, so... Oh, I'm getting gonna finish this and uh, I will see you on the next random adventure and remember it's just one adventure at a time oh wait a minute <laughs> score that music all righty all righty so hey uh, absolutely appreciate you coming along uh, let's see what the adventures bring us and you have an awesome incredible week and we'll catch you on the next random adventure Tony 2.0 out. Oh, I got to eat this breakfast. <laughs> good, good, good.